I'm ranking the top 250 individuals from the pre-colonial era to today in what is now Canada, and we're on number 133, Emily Carr. Emily Carr was born on December 13, 1871 in Victoria, British Columbia. Both her parents passed away when she was in her teens, but they had encouraged her artistic pursuits. She would study at the San Francisco Art Institute and then the Westminster School of Art. In 1898, she made the first of her sketching and painting trips to indigenous villages in BC. These trips would continue through the next few decades. In 1913, she held her first large exhibition of her work of indigenous villages. Over time, Carr's work became more well known, and in 1927, she sent 26 oil paintings to the National Gallery for an exhibition that included A.Y. Jackson. That same year, she met members of the Group of Seven who told her that she was one of them. The group would influence her own artistic path. In 1935, she held her first solo show in Eastern Canada. In 1937, she suffered a heart attack, and then another in 1939. In 1940, she suffered a stroke and a third heart attack in 1942, and she passed away from a fourth heart attack on March 2, 1945. Today, Carr is considered one of Canada's greatest artists and a Canadian icon. Her work has been showcased across Canada, and her painting, The Totem of the Bear and the Moon, sold for $3.1 million in 2022. If you enjoy Canadian history, then check out my podcast, Canadian History X, available on all podcast platforms.